Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be explaining how to copy and transfer chunks from one world to the other and how to restore the original terrain that was in the world before copying the chunks. So this is very useful if you're trying to update uh, world's chunks, for example, if you have like a multiplayer server and certain chunks that you want to, uh, that, that haven't had anyone build in them, you just want to basically reset them so that you can have new biomes in the next update. Or if you're just trying to uh, copy perhaps a build from a different world that you want in a certain world, or just copy chess, perhaps. Um, so it's very useful for all of those things, but to do so, you will have to install a third party application. But the whole process is pretty simple and the outcome is always worth it. So first thing you're going to want to do is install something called MCA Selector. So you will find this by going to github.com slash quirks slash MCA Selector. So I'll just click the MCA Selector.setup.exe. So since I already have one, I'll just click, click cancel, but you'll usually click save or enter. So now I'll go to my downloads folder and say selector.exe. Now you can select your language. I accept the agreement, so always press that. Create desktop shortcut if you want, and then install. Once you've done that, you can click check mark uh, if you want to launch MC Selector automatically, so I'll have that set, and you press finish. Now you can close out of your browser and your file explorer. So I have prepared a small cottage in one of our worlds that we're going to be using. So here it is. It's just a simple cottage. Didn't go too crazy with it. So we're going to be copying this little cottage to a different world. So I'll just put the iron into the, uh, into the furnace. I also put some stuff in a chest to show that it does actually copy things from containers. Not sure why my couch is lagging right now. It shouldn't be. I'm running at 165 FPS. All right. So now you can save and exit the world. And then once you get out of there, you can go to MCA Selector, File, Open World, and then you can do World 1, which is the world we were just in. Select Folder, and then it'll take a few seconds to load. And there we go. So now here's the world this is actually really useful if you're trying to see explore chunks in a certain world but that doesn't matter right now so here it is here's a little cottage so we'll select it with the left mouse button so you can just drag if you want and right click uh, basically deselect it so we'll select it to move around use your middle mouse button so then you'll click selection Oop, selection copy chunks so now they are basically on your clipboard and now you're going to open mca selector a new instance of mca selector so here it is so now we'll go to file open world world 2 select folder and since i haven't really explored this world it's just a few small chunks so now you'll go to selection paste chunks and you can drag these chunks basically wherever you want so let's see, rel relatively flat area. We'll just put it right there. So uh, n since there's a little green box, you'll basically drag that to wherever you want. Then you'll go back to selection and then paste again. It'll pop up with a little window, um, basically just giving you a warning, uh, offset, etc., 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 and you'll click OK. So as you can see, our cottage is now in this world. It looks a little weird, but we'll get into that in just a few seconds. You can now go back to Minecraft and we'll open world number two. All right, here we are. Uh, I believe it should be right here. Yep, there we go. All right, perfect. So there is our little cottage. Uh, let's see, anywhere we can put it. Yep, over there. All right. So if you want to uh, basically restore this little area, um, you, since, since it does put a crater in here and you probably won't like this in your world, and if you're on a multiplayer server, it might look a little bit suspicious. So you'll basically want to do slash give. Oh, looks like I don't have permissions. That's interesting. That's easy. We can just go to land and then commands on start land world. All right. Slash give at S or at A or at P, whatever you might want. At S is just give at self. And then you'll do struck. 
sure block or you can just press tab it should be the first option all right so now you have a structure block we'll want to go right over here and then on the bottom left not not done or canceled those don't count right now on the bottom left you'll, you can see load so we'll click that so then there's corner and then save save mode is the first mode you're going to want so under structure size we'll go to x coordinate we'll do 13 not 14 13 and then we'll just do 9 on z coordinate and then actually we'll do we'll do 10 on z coordinate and then 8 on y coordinate so now once you press done it'll basically open this little thing and then in bedrock edition it'll actually show you a preview of your little build but it doesn't in java so since it's only copying above this line we'll go one block deeper oh it, it didn't it didn't set, save it i forgot about that all right so 13 9 and then 10 over here i'm not going to worry too much about the path right now it doesn't really matter we're just trying to copy this little area all right so now you're going to want to put the structure name so i'm going to do cottage keep it simple and then you'll press the save that is basically all capital letters save all right perfect so now it's been saved it'll give you a little chat message and then let's just go over here to this little flat area and then we can go back into it so it's already on load so we'll do this so for the structure name we'll do cottage so this is all you need to really do usually um in load so now we can press done and load so as you can see it wants to load it so we'll just go one deeper so it'll actually uh, save the terrain properly so then we can press load in all capital letters and there we go our cottage has now been transferred not sure where the cows went though it's a bit odd oh yes okay so they're right here so i may have forgotten to mention there is an option to include entities i forgot to do that one but as long as you do it it should work so if we go back to the save uh, structure block over here there's an option to include entities so if we if, if we want to include entities we'll just click save again and then you can go back over here and then we can click load again and it should load oh okay it's when i guess it didn't want to this time but if, if not just resave the uh, structure all right so now since we have our cottage in the desired location we do want to fix this chunk. We, we don't want this here, right? We want to be able to fix this. So essentially what we're going to do, we're going to press F3, and then we'll quick, quickly write down the coordinates. So that's negative 16, negative 48. So we'll go to that really quick. I'll just write that down. Negative 16, negative 48. So if you want the seed of the world, you can just do slash seed. And it'll give you that seed. So now you can copy this. And now save and quit. Single player. And then world 3. So I've already pre-prepared this one. This is the same seed as world 2. So we'll go into world 3. As you can see, it's identical. So let's see. If we go to negative 16. Do this. We should be able to go to negative 48. If we just go this way a little bit. Oh, I passed it. Negative 48. And then... Negative 16. Perfect. So this would be the exact location of it. So, oops. So then we'll save and quit the title again. Not sure why it's not working. And then we'll open one last... Um, yes, so we'll open one last little... Instance of MCA Selector. So we'll do file, open world, world three, select folder. And then we are going to try to find the exact location, which should be right here. So this is the original chunks. And then over here, we'll do view on the world one. So I'm just going to quickly close world uh, one. So world two, you can go to view reload 
and there we go. Now, we're, now there's our cottage right there, so we can see it. Yes, I want to close this unsaved selection. All right, so I'm just going to minimize OBS. So right here, uh oh, I made a, a little mistake. We'll open that instance again, and then file, open world, and then world three. Yes, so I made a little mistake. I, I closed the wrong instance. That's all right. So we'll go back to right here. As you can see, this should match the exact location. So we'll do this. Selection, copy chunks. And in the world two, we'll do selection, paste chunks, if it lets us. Selection, copy chunks. There we go, paste chunks. All right, now you're gonna align it with the exact location and you'll do paste chunks again, okay. And there we go. Now the chunks should be reset to the original terrain. So now we'll go back to world two. And as you can see, everything is normal once again, which means that our cottage is here and the, the world basically has never changed besides the cottage, of course. So now our world is identical to the original version aside from the cottage. All right, well, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and have learned how to transfer chunks from world to world. If you do want me to do a more uh, detailed guide on MCA Selector in the future, please comment down below. And other than that, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.